Hey, Sagittarius. Welcome to Sag and Sun. Let's see what messages Spirit got for y'all today. Baby, we're going to start with these oracles right here. Y'all, these messages are for entertainment purposes only. Don't make nothing fit and don't put nobody above your own intuition. All right? Come through, Spirit. What's going on? What is going on for the collective? Excuse me, thank you. All right, Ooh, I was just getting that in my head. I'm like, somebody sees where, what the problem is or how something can be fixed, something like that. With this leg up, you could be giving someone a leg up or somebody could be coming to give you a leg up. But the 34 breaking down to a seven, maybe where this person was confused or maybe where there was a lot to seven of swords, maybe now somebody's seeing things from a higher perspective, okay? You're definitely being divided, divinely guided and protected with this blessed card. Some of y'all, I'm getting it again. Only if you knew. Some of y'all are like, just like the cards that you really, really blessed with something. You really, really are. I don't know what this is. Okay. Mending. So, somebody could be trying to put something back together. This doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. But if there was any breakdown in something, somebody, but they're wanting to work with you. Maybe versus against you. I don't know. Or maybe they was working by themselves. Um, but somebody want to work with you with something to put something back together. With this mending. This work could be in the community. This could be, it could be a relationship. And there's another seven. You could be seeing a lot of sevens. This 52 is breaking down to a seven. Bottom of the deck, chaos and conflict. That's the disruption. Because somebody could have painted. You see how this zebra, they're trying to paint this zebra out to be a giraffe. And then look on this card. This house was oppressing the zebra. There's a house on this zebra's back. Just oppressing it, making it hard for this zebra, okay? And they tried to paint the zebra. See the zebra up under the giraffe? They tried to paint the zebra out to be a giraffe. Now, I don't know. Maybe the giraffe is something bad or good. Take how it resonates. Um, I just don't. I, I feel like somebody's busting out the scene. Somebody like, uh-uh, this is who I am. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's trying to control you, trying to make you to be what they want you to be. And, you know, take this how it's going to resonate. And it could be because there's something unique here. I, don't, I just feel like zebras are beautiful animals, child. And those stripes are meant to be seen. Maybe this is someone who's trying to dim your light. Right? The zebras is black and white. They try to paint you all brown and spotted up. Like, no, nah, man. Mm, okay. So, let's break this down and see what this is. This house could be anything. This house could be your family. You could be the person that does everything for the whole family and that has oppressed you, depressed you, oppressed you. It's just been like heavy. Okay. And this 21 is breaking down two or three, which talks about collaborations or working together. And that's what I see with this mending card. Like, man, we, 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 we need to fix this. Let's make it right. Let's do this or something like that. Let's see. Oh, that'll help. <laughs> that'll help on it. Yeah, yeah, shit, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, because maybe somebody was in the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate achievement. So with the leg up, somebody could come along and offer you a job, offer you some advice, um, something that's going to help to change the situation. With this change in the wind. Cause it's a lot of chaos and conflict. Three, three, three. Get your mind, body, and soul in alignment. Maybe something wasn't in alignment. I don't know. All right, 
right, so you have the world card. This could be the ending of a major cycle. Uh, somebody could have been surrounded by these people on the card. In each corner, there's a person. And this energy has on this purple shawl. Okay, there could be something here with purple because even on this card, look, it's purple. Maybe someone's aura is purple. But I get bravery or being strong, courageous, something like that. If you if you are the only one doing things, this house could also, because you think of the house that's like the four ones. That could have been a relationship that was oppressing you. There's about to be some help. Leg up. Like I said, it could be advice, a job, uh, anything. Now, I don't know where this help coming from. Now, on the card, there's this mama bear helping. It, your mama could help you. I don't know. The mama bear is helping the baby bear get on her back. Okay? There was one set of footprints. The mama was on the side watching the baby walk. It's like, man, if I help you, because there's some things on this path that the baby needed to learn. There was some things on that path that that baby needed to learn. So the mama just sat on the side and said, okay, if you can make it to right here, then I can come and carry you the rest of the way. I'm also getting that with that footprint. Y'all remember that picture everybody had it in their house back in the day where um the man was taking some steps and Jesus came and carried him across the rest of the way. I'm also getting that. Whatever this was that you was going through, you you were going through it by yourself or something like that with this. And now some help coming through. So if you've been in a tough situation, instead of looking at it like the victim mentality, and it's easy to get in that, and I know this from my own personal experience, it's easy to get in that, woe is me. Why is this happening to me? But, you know, sometimes things ain't happening to us but for us. Because I feel like it was some things that this this baby, I feel like you are going to be symbolic to this baby. It was some things this baby needed to learn on this path, and they had to walk it by themselves. Okay? Let's keep going. We got the eight of ones out here, so there's some communication could be coming in. I feel like this is gonna be fast. Messages back and forth, fast, fast. Either messages about you or messages to you. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus with a hyphen card, or um, this is like organizations or courts. Or something. This is serious stuff, right? This hierarchy energy. This could also be a beliefs. This could also be symbolic to like a spiritual lesson. Maybe there was a spiritual lesson in this, down this path. You had to walk it by yourself. It could have been 30 people. The mama bear could have been symbolic to 30 people who saw you walking down that street. But if they had came over there and picked you up, you would have never... You know, seeing the things you're supposed to see or learning the things you were supposed to learn. You had to. Maybe it was a major decision that you had to make. And sometimes we get in that energy. Man, I wish somebody would just come to tell me what to do. A lot of times we be knowing what to do, but we second guess ourselves. I don't know how this is going to resonate for you. I just feel like there's an ending of a major cycle and the beginning of a new Spirit, yes, star card. Mm, mm, mm. Some of y'all could even be known for whatever this is. Take that high, gonna resonate, child. Some of you will be known for this. Others of you, what happened, walking this path by yourself allowed for a lot of healing to take place because the star card could be healing. But you see them stars, they getting in alignment for the assignment. And that bird was right there watching the whole time. Like I said, that bird could be the mama bear. Like, I see you. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, look. Seven of Pentacles. 
<clears throat> some of y'all could have been investing in something that, or you could have been doing something. And then you got a person over there that's like, man, if you would just do this, 10, 10 on the phone. I'm also getting energy of like, you know how people, they look for new talent, right? Um, they all sit around a big table and they're like, okay, so who we going to invest in? Man, we could do a lot with this person. You know, if they could just do this and that, man, they could go far. Some of y'all that could be going on. Somebody could be looking for something or someone to invest in. This could also be you investing in yourself with this seven of pentacles. Okay. What else, Spear? You got the tower card. So the tower is a disruption. That's why I said the mending card is right there. Whatever this would, whatever disruption happened, somebody wants to come. A Capricorn could have disrupted something or some toxicity could have came through and, and disrupted something. But the towers, they knock down what is not built on a solid foundation and they put you on the right path. When the dust settles, you're right where you're supposed to be. 11-11 on the phone. Okay. You have the nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior. Somebody been through a lot. I'm telling you now. It don't have to be you. It could be someone else. Just take it how it resonates. Somebody been through a whole lot. Okay, but look, there it is right there. Ace of Wands, brand new beginning. Yeah, you may have been through a lot of burdens. The Nine of Wands to the Ace of Wands is the Ten of Wands. But something's going in divine order. Eight, nine to the ten, because you got the Eight of Wands right here too. Maybe someone has a passionate ideal, or maybe someone has a passion that was burning in them for something. No. King of Swords. Oh, to the Hierophant again. Some of y'all could belong to some groups or something. Because this kind of remind you of like sororities and things like that. What else? This could be a, a, a leader in this hyphen. And with the crosses, this, this could be like a pastor or something. All right, you have the seven of swords. So I don't know what that's about. Somebody could have been lying about this money or stealing this money or... Five of Pentacles in the death. Something's changing. Somebody's putting an end into something. Okay, you got the Queen of Cups at the bottom. So, I, you know, we talked about this about a month ago. You're going through this hard energy. Don't let hard times turn your turn you into a hard person. It's very easy to do it. Because you can go through so much in life to where you be like, you know what? Just just fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do me. And forget everything else. Don't let that happen. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups in the upright, you didn't. You could have stayed in your heart center. This is a very compassionate energy. You could have been having compassion while going through all of this. And so there's balance to have balance. I mean, the scales must always be balanced. So whoever this was, they were going through something, they didn't really have a brand new beginning. Whether you're a masculine or a feminine energy. Okay, what's this? You have the Queen of Swords and mm, the Five of Swords to the Three of Swords. So this is an energy who, um, they're coming from a hurt space. And they're in that energy by, you know, having to win by any means necessary. This, this could have even been a little bit of envy, whatever this is, with this Five of Swords. And I feel like with the Five of Cups right here, somebody's realizing that. Somebody could be, they could even be like, man, you know what? I just want to get back to the times we was laughing together, playing together, celebrating, right? Mending. Somebody wants to work it out. Somebody wants to make something right. Could just put it like that. So this queen of swords could have been anybody in your family. It does not have to be a feminine because it's a queen. But this is someone who was coming at you with this sword. 
and they were coming from her. Their heart chakra was blocked off. This the type of person that'll say, and I heard the lady say, somebody told her this today. This is the type of person to say, he go you a tent, go sleep out behind the grocery store. And they could help you another way, but they say he'll be good. And they not feel nothing. They they won't, they just ain't got no, they all logic. They always in their head. It's, it's straight logic with this person. They ain't got no compassion for nothing. But with this five of cups here, there's some type of sadness or regret or something like that. Because whoever this is, they just want to get back to this three of swords. Man, let's get back to the place where we was all laughing and everybody was happy. This could be somebody who took something too far. Five of ones. I just said having to win at all costs. And the fucked up thing is, whoever this is, they was playing this game by themselves. If you look on this five of swords, these two people got their back turned. This is the queen of swords. This is the only person that's playing this game. This is some, maybe this person's very competitive or they could have viewed you as some competition or I don't know what the hell this was, but it was uncalled for. Definitely uncalled for. And see, they in the Queen of Swords and you in the Queen of Cups. That's two different things. This is somebody who will take your... They make you feel like you could trust them. You go to them and you confide in this person and they take their very information. This is the type of motherfucker that'll post it out online. When they get mad, they take, they hit, they, they try to hit you where it hurt. So I don't know who they were for y'all. And, it, and, and the way it's showing this King of Swords, it could have been a masculine energy who could have been hurt and it could have acted out a little bit. But somebody regret that. Mm -hmm. Look how with this strength card right here, it made somebody, somebody had to go through a lot. Could have been up to two people going through this. Somebody had to go through a lot. Yeah, look, straight to the tennis, bruh. To the ten of swords. Somebody betrayed the fuck out of somebody. But there's that balance. There's that peace offering with that page of cups. It's a small gesture. You know. But here, they don't even got to do that. At least they doing that. Okay. Something could turn someone into the nine of pentacles. You got the nine of pentacles, king of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Maybe somebody was just worried about money. Maybe somebody was hiding your money or stealing your money. I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. I don't know what it is. But, uh, yeah, toil and labor. You could have been hard at work. This could have been a person that says, oh, I want you to work hard. Because something was oppressing a person. Maybe somebody could have been trying to. There's a reason that they was putting all this pressure on it. This is pressure. Could have even been a couple. A wealthy man and a privileged lady. What's at the back? Official person. Expectations. Great fortune. Occupation. Hmm. Maybe it's, I don't know. But um, I feel like these scales are being balanced, man. Straight up. Yeah, somebody had to come in and mediate adjudication. If this was a friend and y'all got into an argument y'all haven't spoken in a while, this person missed being around you with the Three of Cups. They miss having conversations with you, just chilling with you, and they ready to get back to that energy. They'd rather be in the Three of Cups with you. It's like I'd rather have you as a friend than an enemy because Five of Swords is enemy energy. I mean, I'd rather have you as a friend. I'd rather have you on my team or I'd rather have our relationship back. But however this is going to resonate, there was some type of disruption. What else? All right, you have child here. 
this is given like innocence or naive or maybe somebody thought you maybe somebody's like oh this person gullible i can do this i can do that some people don't appreciate people with a good heart okay some people say oh you sensitive shit i'm finna get everything i can up out your ass i'm finna come and tell you a side story and get everything i can about you because i know you're sensitive and, and and you know not all quitting swords is like that but in this reading the way these cards came out this is the type of energy that'll do that confirmation Hey man, all I gotta do is go over there and tell you, uh, I got put out today. And I I know you ain't got but a hundred dollars, but I know you'll give me half of it because that's who you are. So I'm gonna get what I can about you. Somebody could did that. And that's okay. Um, Dream said, what people do to you, they gotta answer to God for that. And how you respond, you also gotta answer to God for that. So that's why I say, no matter what you're going through, and you stay right here and then not being fake. Because you have to you have to see it from a higher perspective. Why would a person behave like this? They weren't born like that. They, life. Life hardens people up. And everybody knows the energy of a queen of swords, whether this is a man or a woman, this is someone who has been hurt. This is that friend that'll tell you if you if you tell this friend, hey, I just met somebody. I like them. Oh, psh, all men the same. All women the same. Fuck them. Find them, fuck them, and forget about them. This is that, you know. And it's because some of the things that they've been through. So, a queen of cups has the ability to see that. You know, man or woman, they can see from a higher perspective that that's the reason that this person is behaving this way. Don't get mad at them. Show them a little bit of compassion. And after a while, somebody be like, man, you know what? I ain't even had to do that. Why this if y'all if this is somebody you got to an argument with, they probably don't even remember why y'all was arguing. They probably don't. It reminds me of that card that just came out of my last reading. It says harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. 2222 22 on the phone. This is someone who was harboring resentment. Blocking the flow of love where you could have been pouring out love. There wasn't no match. But y'all had to come across each other for a reason. Okay. All right, so. This, all right, you already got child out here. Then you got parenthood and arguments. I mean, a child could have said something. But again, it's coming from the three of swords energy. People say a lot of things when they hurt, when they mad. I done said shit before. You probably had too. I don't know who this is, but the card, this is five of wands. This parenthood card, you're patient. That's this queen of cups. You're patient, nurturing, and warm nature. Will make you a great caregiver or a parent. That is totally different from, from this energy right here, y'all. So that's this disruption, that's that tower. It said men what needs men. It may be broke, but not all is lost. Because some type of balance is coming through and some type of leg up. You got voice, get your message heard and get notes. You have much to share with the world. Reconsider a decision and at the back of it, work smart. Perhaps it's time to clean house personally or professionally or start with a clean palette. Okay. There could be something better. Somebody could have made somebody lose a job. There's a tower. There's a tower here. 
Some of y'all could have been through the towel. Maybe not, but I see a, a towel. Asking for help. Consider asking for help with regard to your financial problems. Look at your financial situation from a new perspective. You still have resources remaining. And writer. Yeah, somebody might have to look for another job. I see setbacks and uh, this Explorer card. Keep trying. There are no mistakes, just opportunity, opportunities to learn and grow. That's that path, having to walk that path. So even if you did something and made a mistake, maybe you was naive about something, that had to play out that way because it's something that you're going to learn, right? Opportunities to learn and grow. It says you may be called to explore careers that match your fearlessness and curiosity. That fearlessness, that's what I'm getting with that, that, uh, that bravery, right? Like courage. For some of you, you may just need to go wandering and trust the unknown. That's where the magic lies. So I don't know what this is, child. Some type of setback. But this financial setback is forcing you to get more organized with your finances. Don't lose hope. Use the time to learn from There's lessons. I, I, I keep saying that. There's lessons on this path. Even if somebody wanted to come in and help you right now, the divine won't allow them to because it's something that you needed to learn. Whether it was getting more organized, being better with money, whatever this was, child. And then when, when you've learned that lesson, spirit allows for this person to come in and help you. Angelic help. Look at that. Real estate. Solid foundations. Solid foundations. I said this tower is comes to knock down what's not built on a solid foundation. All right. But some type of angelic help could come through. This is a time of trust in the universe and know that you'll be provided for. There's a career or a blessing lined up for you. Stay positive and believe. Stay positive and believe. Okay, 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 okay. I got to go. I got to go and try to figure out what we're going to eat, child. So let me close this out and get y'all an angel message. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. I feel like even if you go through this tower, this can be inspirational. It's all on how you choose to look at it. And I'm telling that to myself. I'm part of the collective too. I have to tell that to myself, man. Look, I told you that car was giving me innocence. Innocence. So I don't know. But, um, let me try to miss the spirit. Changing direction. These changes. These changes that you are experiencing was divinely directed. Something had to happen. Divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcome that you desire. There's something with babies on, something with kids and babies. I see babies here. Well, she's holding the baby right there on the innocent card. And there's a baby in the basket. And there's a baby angel up there with that stork and that map. Someone could be adopting kids or something like that. I don't know. Maybe someone will work with children with the mending. Acceptance. And what do you desire? Because I say balance is coming through. You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. What do you desire? All right. And you have this acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love. Again, that's that queen of cups. That's that compassion I'm talking about. It, hey, man, if we don't need nothing else in this world, that's exactly what we need. I feel. And Listen. See yourself and the others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. I mean, there could be something here with some baby angels, too. Somebody's coming to some type of acceptance of something. Okay. And there's the God box. Write down any worries or concerns. 
or desires that you have on a piece of paper, place it into a special container called a God box as a way of, a, of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Okay? That's what I got for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet, both of them. Till next time. Bye.